So I wanted to make a brief introductory uh, video to my next Watching the World Burn series. Because, uh, you know, it's not just about watching the world burn. It's about what are you doing to prepare? You know, food's going to get really expensive. And let me show you what I'm doing. See, right here, I found a place and they're giving me free, free dirt. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's a hell of a lot of work because all I got is just this car and you could do something similar if you could find some free dirt. I mean, you can look at this dirt, man. This is some great black soil with uh, lots of uh, pine mulch in there. And then what I do is I throw, well, let's just do it. I'll throw the bucket on the back of the cart because you might as well use what you got, right? Then let's come on over here. This was another project I, I got wild cats and they're coming up under that fence so i'm trying to block them off a little bit it ain't gonna do no damn good because i got a neighbor that's feeding them the poop, people don't feed wild animals you know uh but anyway so i bought you know i got this mulch i'm gonna these two trees are coming out this was something left over from a previous homeowner and eventually this will be garden i'm gonna grow some vegetables in there but see what i'm doing is i'm piling that black dirt right here okay this is in the back, and see, I was buying it right here. This is the all-natural Kellogg uh, potty mix, but good Lord, that's like $17, $18 a bag at Home Depot. I'm getting this for free. Um, well, I say free, a hell of a lot of uh, work, and right here, you know, I had the, the old dirt, but let me show you what it looks like. So here we got, we got collard greens, zucchini, Okay, and then I've, I've taken all of the soil. Those are coffee grounds, and that's an egg that was bad. Just throw it in there. You know, you mix the mulch in. Uh, you can see some of the old dirt. See, this is all black soil here. This is a blackberry bush that'll eventually, and this is some squash. See, the squash is going to go right here. Now, you see that that's kind of sandy soil? That's what I'm taking out and replacing with this black soil right here. All right, and these are two uh, blueberry bushes. And then the, the next thing that I'm gonna do is right in here, these are gonna be pineapples. I got four pineapples on order. So you can kind of see now, I could put, you know, you could put herbs in between here uh, if you wanted to grow some herbs and stuff. I mean, it's just, a, it's all a work in progress, but you know, the way, and of course, look at this tomato plant. My God, look at this. He grows so much, I gotta keep him in the rack. <laughs> you know, you know, just, I, I'm checking him every day. Holy moly! And we got this little guy here. That's a hybrid. So I'm not sure. One of the, that might be the cherry tomato, and then this might be the beefy tomato plant, and then we got the peppers. Now, if you see the leaves on here, because uh, look at this guy. See, see what I'm talking about? Goodbye, little bastard. Let me kill him. There, these, these little black grasshoppers are eating my uh, my pepper plants. Now what I've learned, I bought some spray bottles at Amazon and you just mix in some dishwashing liquid or, or I'm going to use a combination of liquid soap and dishwashing liquid and you spray it on the leaves. But you see how these leaves are eating? Look at that. They're killing my peppers. And so that, that'll, that'll get them eventually. But I, I had to order the, um, the spray bottles. By the way, I mean, you can always, you know, use spray bottles from whatever but i mean i'm gonna tell you what I, I the spray bottles that you order just seem to last and do a lot better because i got some for other stuff but anyway this is it okay grow a garden and then this is a 50 gallon water barrel and see what i can do is when it rains you know i just fill up my 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 container right here while i'm working and water everything and that saves, you know, it saves a little bit of money and also it keeps it from flooding out so badly back here. But believe me, that water barrel fills up fast when the rain comes. Anyway, that's it. Peace out. This is my introduction to the next Watching the World Burn.